Well, the antiseptic properties of things like these towelettes and mouthwash and hand sanitizer are common to us today, but there was a time in our history where they weren't. We're gonna learn about the history of antiseptic medicine today on Steam Culture. Well, today I wanna to tell you the story of Joseph Lister. Now, Lister was an English surgeon in the mid-1800s, and he was losing about half of his patients to infections that came about during his surgeries, and this bothered him a lot. Now, he had read of Louis Pasteur's work that said that wine was spoiling because of microorganisms and bacteria in the air. So he also heard that something called carbolic acid was used to kill parasites in cattle. So he put the two together and reasoned that if I treated my surgical area, my surgical room with this carbolic acid, maybe I can reduce those infections. turns out that he did. He was treating uh, his bandages and he would treat the wound with this carbolic acid and he reduced the mortalities from 50% to 15%. Pretty drastic reduction. Well here's where our story gets a little steamy. He invented something called the carbolic steam spray which you see here in the uh, pictures. It was this device that used steam to uh, basically fill the room with this yellow sweet kind of smell like coal tar uh, substance of carbolic acid and so he would treat the entire room the air uh, it would sort of rain down on the patient uh, the surgeons the instruments the whole bit and that was his next step and from there it just proliferated into things like steam sterilization and the autoclave you might remember our episode we did on the autoclave well Joseph Lister he was on the front end of a lot of that so the next time uh, you're on the subway and you're, and you're holding that little handle and you want to bring out your antiseptic wipe to wipe it down because you feel nasty, you can thank Joseph Lister because he helped do that. Well, there you go, Steam Culture fans. Another first antiseptic medicine here on Steam Culture. So come find me next week. I'll have something for you. Come find us on social media because we're everywhere. See you next Friday.